Here we have my Xiaomi device, which I've successfully rooted using Magisk after unlocking the bootloader. In today's video, I'll walk you through the exact step-by-step -step process I use to root this device and demonstrate how you can root any Redmi or Poco phone without any issue. All right, let's get started. As you can see, I'm using the Poco F4 in this video, and it is currently running on the latest available HyperOS based on Android 14. The first essential step in rooting any Android device is enabling developer options. To accomplish this, repeatedly tap on the OS version number. You'll notice a brief toast notification confirming you are now a developer. Return to your main settings interface and access additional settings where you'll discover a newly appeared developer options menu. Upon opening developer options, you can verify that my bootloader status shows as unlocked and the MI unlock status is similarly unlocked. While I'll provide you with insights into the bootloader unlocking process, let's first ensure USB debugging is enabled. It's worth noting that bootloader unlocking in HyperOS presents considerable challenges. The bootloader unlocking process for Xiaomi devices requires installing the official Xiaomi community application and authenticating with the identical My account configured in your device settings. Navigate to your profile section within the app, where you'll locate the bootloader unlocking functionality. However, there are specific prerequisites. Your account must have been active for a minimum of 30 days with consistent community app usage during this period. Even when these conditions are satisfied, Xiaomi restricts bootloader unlocking applications to precisely 12 a.m. Beijing time. You'll need to convert this time frame to your local time zone. And bear in mind that only limited unlocking slots are available each day. Alternatively, there are certain scripts and exploits available that can bypass these restrictions. Be sure to subscribe to my channel as I'll be covering these alternative methods in an upcoming video. Once you've successfully unlocked your bootloader, we can progress to the next step, obtaining the appropriate firmware for your specific device. Launch your preferred web browser and search for the official MIUIROM website. This platform provides firmwares for all Redmi and Poco devices. Locate your specific phone model using the search function. In this demonstration, I'm searching for the POCO F4. After identifying your device, the website presents region-specific firmware options. Since my device operates on Indian regional firmware, I'll be downloading the corresponding version. The website offers two distinct firmware variants, recovery and fastboot firmware. For our routing procedure, select the fastboot firmware option. This is critically important. Always ensure you download firmware that precisely matches your device's current OS version. You can verify your OS version through your device's settings menu. I'm splitting my screen to provide better visibility, and as you can confirm, the firmware version perfectly matches my device's current OS version. After verifying this compatibility, proceed with downloading the appropriate Fastboot firmware. Since I've previously downloaded the required firmware for this demonstration, I'll skip the download process. Here's my downloaded firmware file. It's compressed as an archive that requires extraction. I recommend using Zarchiver, it is free app available on the Google Play Store. I'll include a direct download link in the video description for your convenience. After extracting the firmware archive, navigate to the firmware folder and access the images directory. Within this location, you need to locate a file named init underscore boot dot img and copy it to an accessible location. If your firmware doesn't contain init underscore boot dot img, simply copy the boot dot img file instead. In the case of my Poco F4, only the boot image file is present. Now that we've secured our boot image file, the next step involves patching it using Magisk. Open your browser and download the official Magisk application from its GitHub repository. Always ensure you're downloading from the official source for security purposes. Install the Magisk application on your device. Once installation is complete, launch Magisk and select the Install option. Choose Select and Patch a File from the available options, then navigate to the location where you saved the boot image file and select it. Magisk will now process and patch this file, generating a modified version that we'll use for the routing procedure. Upon completion of the patching process, the modified file will be saved to your device's download folder for easy access. 
patched file now needs to be transferred to your computer. I've successfully transferred the file to my PC. In this tutorial, I'm working with a Mac OS system, but the process is identical for Windows users. You'll need to install platform tools and ADB fastboot drivers. For Mac OS users, these tools can be installed using Homebrew Package Manager. Here's the Magisk patched file that I've transferred with my device connected to the laptop via USB cable. We're now ready to flash this patched boot image file to the device. Open terminal on macOS or command prompt on Windows and execute the command ADB devices. If you've correctly installed the USB drivers and platform tools, your device's serial number will appear in the terminal output. Next, execute ADB Reboot Fastboot to boot your device into Fastboot D mode. If this command doesn't function as expected, use the alternative ADB Reboot Bootloader command instead. As you can see, my device has successfully entered Fastboot D mode. If you've booted into standard Fastboot mode using ADB Reboot Bootloader, you'll need to execute Fastboot Reboot Fastboot to transition into Fastboot D mode. Once you've confirmed entry into Fastboot D mode, execute Fastboot devices to verify your device connection. The appearance of your device's serial number confirms successful connectivity. We need to determine your device's slot configuration by executing Fastboot Getvar All. This command displays comprehensive device information. As demonstrated, this device utilizes a dual slot configuration, requiring us to flash the patched boot image to both slots for optimal functionality. Execute fast boot flash boot underscore A, followed by dragging and dropping your patched boot image file. After the first slot completes flashing, repeat the process for the second slot using fast boot flash boot underscore B. Once both slots have been successfully flashed, restart your device using the fast boot reboot command. Your device will initiate the restart process and you'll notice the first boot takes considerably longer than usual. This is completely normal behavior. Once your device has fully loaded and stabilized, launch the Magisk application. If prompted for additional setup procedures, complete them as instructed and perform one final device restart. Your device completes the final boot sequence. Open Magisk once more, and there you have it. The interface should now display confirmation that all components are properly installed, indicating your device has been successfully rooted. Congratulations! Your Xiaomi device now has root access, providing you with comprehensive system-level control. This unlocks the ability to install powerful modules, implement deep system customizations, and access advanced features previously unavailable. If this comprehensive tutorial has been valuable to you, please show your appreciation by hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel for more advanced tech tutorials. Feel free to share any questions or concerns in the comments section below. Until our next technical adventure, enjoy exploring your newly rooted device.